what happens if you get injured at a business location in the Florida Keys? And, and the, this question we get calls every single week for. There's lots of folks visiting or working in the Keys, specifically in Key West, we know as a historic district. And in that district, there is a lot of retail shops and there's a lot of bed and breakfast. Uh, the infrastructure in the Keys is, for lack of a better word, is, is, is older, and that's part of the char. Uh, for example, I, I'll give you, a, uh, give you a, a, a case that we handled recently. A client of ours checked into a hotel, went up to the room at the bed and breakfast, went to sit on a swing that was affixed to the roof ceiling, and upon sitting, it collapsed unceremoniously, and she suffered a very significant shoulder injury that required two surgeries. Now, in that particular case, we were able to discover that the business owner, the bed and breakfast, had failed to inspect this particular swing at any point prior to my client suffering this fall. Now, they had owned the business for five years before the fall. And our opinion was, well, it would have been, it would have been, and it was, and should have been reasonable for you to inspect something such as this for at least some reasonable period of time before our client fell. These are the types of things that an experienced attorney is going to know they need to investigate in order to properly prosecute a claim for any individual that's injured at a bed and breakfast or any retail shop. The central question is, what is it that the business owner did or should have done that would have prevented or caused the injury that which our client suffered. If you've suffered an injury at any retail shop or bed and breakfast anywhere in the Florida Keys, give us a call or visit us on the web and we'll be more than happy to discuss your claim with you.